were making our way around the south side of Mount St. Helens, we suddenly got a glimpse of Mount Hood. Thirty minutes or so, and now we have the snowfield. Oh, I am exhausted, <laughs> and it's just now eleven o'clock. But uh, I, I still like our odds. We passed another couple a few minutes ago, and they turned around past Sheep's Canyon, which is just before where the place we're going to camp tonight.
high point for the day and for the whole loop, uh, which makes it 4,800 feet. And we're feeling it. It's a nice breeze right now, but the sun is brutal. Believe it or not, the ice fields are the hottest, the hottest of all. Slider just took a massive slide. He slid about 25 feet, but he's he's making it back up the slope. Wait, is there something in the snow? I got my glasses. I got my cell phone. I call him survive. Yeah, I thought I could use the path. How's your dignity? Right. Yep. Climb, I didn't need it. There. And he went down there. He was lucky. He just went, fell into some really soft sand right there. This was very sketchy. The part right there, there's just no trail there. It's just loose sand and dust. But we all made it. I made it. Yeah. So what does it look like when you get up close to it? <laughs> this one looks like the trail might go through it. You see the trail end right there? Maybe. But yeah, let's, yeah. <laughs> okay, one more knot. Stay on it until you get to the last knot. Hang on it. There you go. Good job, you. Ooh, victory dance. Yes. Why you just drop everything and run back to the car?
I'm eating a Jolly Rancher. So I get to do the recap of our first day on the Lewitts Trail around Mount St. Helens. We had some gorgeous views today of Mount yeah. Adams, <laughs> and Hood, Mount Hood, and, and we Jefferson. Saw Jefferson, so yep. that was pretty cool. The terrain was. Uh, it was daunting. It was a brutal, brutal day. It really was. It was hot and um, it was volcanic. <laughs> lava, lava. <coughs> there were big rocks everywhere. It was a very tough day. But we did some climbing and some rappelling and some sliding and some climbing <laughs> and a lot of walking. And some climbing. A lot of walking. <laughs> um, sorry, I still got my candy in my mouth, but we um. We believe this was roughly 12 miles today, and it took us about 11 hours to do it. Yeah. Which, yeah, that's a little off pace for us, but well, that's how rugged it was. But it was rugged and it was very hot. I mean, it was 95 degrees, so... We had to take a lot of rest breaks. In the, in the, in the open sun, exposed on the side of the mountain a lot of the time. Yeah. And the lava boulders are just tricky to navigate. Yeah, some challenging walking, but... I would say until we got to the rope, there was nothing there we hadn't faced before. Yeah, there was a 20 foot slide down the side of the ice. But, <laughs> but other than that, mm -hmm. yeah, uneventful day. Hey, Lions! Hello! So, you've been listening to our recap. Yes. What do you want to add to it? Well, today was absolutely breathtaking and gorgeous, but also very difficult and a little treacherous at times <laughs> but I think all in all a really great day I'm still gonna stick with brutal <laughs> brutal. brutal brutal was good <laughs> it's tough I don't think I've had a tougher hike well day. yeah we were talking about that earlier um, like I said there's nothing here we haven't faced and 11 miles shouldn't have been or 12 miles shouldn't have been a big deal The heat was a big deal. Heat. The yeah. elevation. Very dry. Um, we did climb some, did a lot of climbing today. Uh, I'm trying to think of a harder day. And the only ones I can think of are days when we had a problem, like we were unprepared for what we were getting into. Like Alamo Canyon. Well, yeah. But or Hermit's Rest. Yeah. Again, you know, long time ago. Um, we're a little more seasoned now. But also those weren't nearly as far as today. Right. <clears throat> Um, Although Alamo Canyon may give it a run for its money. Yeah, there were some days on the AT where I was this tired. No, but it I was didn't. probably accumulated exhaustion. Yeah. Not fresh new exhaustion. This is <laughs> quite right out of the gate. Right out of the Wham. gate. But it was absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. I don't regret it. Breathy is a good word. But now we're stuck. Um. <laughs> now we're sort of a third of the way. And we have to keep the going. easiest way back to the car is probably forward. But I didn't do any of the planning, so the great wide unknown. We'll see you tomorrow.